Uh, my name's Ben Bishop. I'll be your host for tonight. And as a young boy, I grew up here in Bundaberg and now live on the Gold Coast. But I grew up listening to 4BU, as you do, AM radio. Love that. And they used to talk about, you know, tonight we're playing the hits of the 60s, the hits of the 70s, and the hits of the 80s. Well, something really, really cool about carols is we don't play the hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We play the hits of the 1700s, the 1800s, the 1900s. And there's a song tonight that actually has its origins in the 8th century. A song 1,200 years old. Why do we do them? Every single year, carols, pretty much every town, every city all around the world celebrates because it's about lest we forget that we don't forget the true meaning of Christmas and that is the birth of the Saviour Jesus Christ. How are you doing out there Bundaberg? Are you doing well? Yeah, see, see, now that sounded a little bit like, okay, I'm not so sure yet. Like, give me something, give me something of what we can look forward to when it comes to big time applause tonight. Bundaberg, what are we going to hear? Nice, 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 nice. Well, a couple of things that we need to cover. A massive thank you to all of the staff and, of course, the Bundaberg City Council for allowing us to come and change things up a little bit in light of COVID to come here to the Moncrief Theatre. The last time I was here, I think, was for my school musical back in 19... I don't know when that was. Yeah, and, and it was actually right here. It was a, a pit, a musical pit, and because I was... I was the drummer. And that's They didn't let me on stage back in those days. And so, yeah, it's so good to be back here. But we do need to keep in mind a few simple things in light of the situation around the world. You can't really stand up. Uh, we would love to have you rocking. We've got some rock and roll numbers coming up soon. And we'd love to have you dancing in the aisles, but that's just not appropriate this year. Maybe it will be next year. The other thing that we've got to avoid is... It's not because you're bad, Bundaberg, but you're not really supposed to sing <laughs> the carols. Now, I'll let you work that out. It's got something to do with spitting on the back of the person's neck in front of you. Now, it's awkward, I know. It's awkward, I know. But maybe if you were to set up, maybe just stay with your hand like that behind you. Would that work? We could do that in the whole night and then you could sing your heart out. You cool with that? If I just put your hands up like that just to test it? And then really, really shout really loudly behind the person. Yeah, no, no, let's not do that. So we're all good to go. It's going to be a great night, a nice jam-packed night of carols that will tell the story of the birth of the Saviour, Jesus Christ. And so I want to draw your attention to those lyrics. You know, with carols, you hear them all the time and the lyrics just tend to float over your head. But we just invite you tonight to have a real think about what these stories are saying and why we've been saying them for so long. This one is one of the most popular. Ladies and gentlemen, get yourself ready. This is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God has sinned as reconciled. Joyful.
How good is that? Please thank our singers, Charlie, Sarah, Tony, and Matt. And of course, how good is it to have Anton back in the middle for that one as well? He, uh, for those of you who don't know, Anton spent a lot of years uh, working here in Bundaberg and over at Impact and uh, has just had a bit of career change and now is officially a police officer and has just been stationed at Mackay, uh, for which we're very sorry about that, but that's okay. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you'll be able to come back and look after us here, to which we will be all very well behaved for you, mate. But so good to have you back. Anton, please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Continuing on with this theme of talking about angels, and angels have played such a pivotal role in the story of Jesus because it's before he even came along, the announcements were made to Mary confirmed to Joseph and the people around them by angels sent by God. We continue on that story now with yet another great angels carol. Nice work, very nice work. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of, a, a, I guess, a hint of just how rocky you guys are going to get tonight. They're going to start to stir it up as well tonight. We've got some really cool things coming up as part of the event tonight. Of course, we've got a special guest all the way from Brisbane who's an emerging star on the country scene. And tonight, or for this weekend, we get to be the first people in the world to hear the live version of her new Christmas song that she's written. And you're going to absolutely love it. It's got a great hawk. It's, but it's fantastic to have LA Dance back. This concept, I guess, doesn't get talked about a lot. When it comes to Christmas, you get to hear the word hope and things like that thrown around. But really, the story of Jesus is about bringing that hope and the contentment that comes. And this song, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, covers that concept where it just comes, just chill out. Don't be phased. It's going to be okay. God's in control. God rest you, Mary, gentlemen, and nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. When we were gone astray, all time. 
absolutely brilliant. Put your hands together one more time for LA Dance. And also, brilliantly led there too by Sarah Driver. Thank you, Sarah. Put your hands together for Sarah. Well, it just wouldn't be in Carol's if we didn't get the opportunity to hear the year address from our local mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for our mayor, Jack Dempsey. Thanks, Ben, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Ben, don't go away too soon. Look, uh, as Ben just alluded to, we have sons and daughters returning home to Bundaberg. Please put your hands together. We really mean it, Ben, and uh, everyone who's travelled far and wide to make this carriage so important to us as a community and send the shining light of hope and peace not just to our community, but right around the whole world. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those that are listening to this Carol's live stream, not just around Bundaberg, but around the rest of Australia, it certainly is a time for Christmas, for love, for joy, for gratitude and for giving. So in those words of gratitude and giving, please put your hands together, wait for it, for those that have done everything to bring this special night to us with love in their hearts. For the, the musicians, the dancers, the singers and the artists, please put your hands together. And that is what quintessential Bundaberg is all about. We are a caring and giving community. We are a community that understands that the greatest gift is looking after our most vulnerable and that it is in the giving that we get the true spirit of Christmas. This evening and tomorrow we hear the carols ring out those traditional tunes that make us rise in our seats, lift up our hearts and our minds, think of others and think of those traditions that have gone back through many generations of families coming together and Christmas time is that special time. 2020 for the trials and tribulations, pandemics, things that have affected people right around the world in our own community. The fears, the apprehensions, the loneliness, the solitudes, the frailty of humankind and the fear of how we're going to not just go through 2020 but ahead. But whilst we had those trials and tribulations, we saw the strength of our community and strength of families and loved ones coming together. We respected each other. We cared for each other. We took that little bit of time to go that little extra inch to go and maybe see a neighbour, an elderly person, to go out of our way. To be able to not just show that respect, but that resilience and strength in our hearts, that no matter what comes between us and divides us. It's the strength of how we come together. And there is no more symbolic image and representation of that as we have at Christmas and carols. Nothing could stop carols and nothing could stop the power of the people behind carols to be able to have this presentation over the next two days. So I just want to say a big thank you to them. As we say thank you and care and we look after each other and we look after each other and those that are vulnerable and less fortunate in our community, it certainly is a time as we go and listen to these songs in particular and the warmth that it brings into our hearts is the hope, faith and love that we have for 2021 as we go through Christmas and bring those messages of hope into our hearts that we are strong and know that we have a beautiful caring community. So I just ask everybody to have a lovely Christmas. Think of those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Reach out. Please stay safe if you are travelling. To remember to take that time to plan, to stop and, uh, and make sure that everybody is calm on their trips and journeys. Share a little smile. Add that little bit of glow to someone else's life, even though we might even be having hard times ourselves. So please stay safe, love one another, and please, all the peace and joy of Christmas may be in your hearts for the rest of the year and the years to come. All the best, and thanks, Ben. Jack Dempsey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you.
freaking out of there. So good to see you. And I love the new venue. Can you believe it's almost Christmas? I actually can't believe it's almost Christmas. We're so excited to sing a few songs for you now. Like Joy to the World. And you all know this one. So come on everyone, sing along. Another song. Which one? I know. Let's sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Christmas. I, know. Yeah. I love making Christmas cookies. Oh, I love everything. My favourite thing is the presents. What about you, Cadence? I love spending time with family and friends. Me too. I love it when the whole family gets together. You guys, nobody mentioned Santa. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, about that, girls. Uh, how about we thank the girls? How good a job have they done tonight? I, 
I don't know how to break this to you, and I'm really, really sorry. It's going to possibly break your heart and break the hearts of the kids as well. You know how, like, this is Carols in the City. It's a different name to last year, right? It's not Carols by Candlelight. Can't have candles in here. We don't want to set the place on Un fire. Yeah, no, you don't. And, and so, unfortunately, Santa didn't get the memo. He's on his way to the showgrounds. What? Yeah, no, it's a total disaster. So, schedule is completely ruined. The only thing we can do, I guess, to, to sort of pad out the time is maybe just... See if we can get him here a little bit quicker with a little bit of Christmas spirit, scream out his name. Do you think that could work? Yeah. All right, okay. I want you guys, you two take that side over there. You two take this side. I want to see which sides are the loudest. Split right down the middle. How about your side first? Get them to say Santa on the count of three. Okay, ready guys? One, two, three, Santa! It wasn't terrible, was it? It wasn't terrible, but obviously not enough to get anything happening. Girls, are you up for this? Ready to bring them in? Everyone right down the middle onto this side. Ready? One, two, three. It wasn't terrible. Maybe, just maybe, girls, if we did it all together at once, the whole auditorium here at the Montgomery, maybe then that would bring it just enough speed to the sleigh to get him here on time on the count of three. Santa, one, two, three. Is that enough? Is he here? I can hear some bells. Put your hands together as Father Christmas. How good is this? Come on through. Did you get a chance to hear the girls and these kids screaming so loudly? Wonderful. Wonderful. It, so good. Um, on a rating, uh, do you reckon, the, how did the, these girls go? Like, I mean, you see a lot of different Christmas carols. Yeah, I would say... 11. 11 out of 10. Excellent. I think they just snuck a selfie in there as well. Are they, they going to go? Excellent. Excellent. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, um, okay, we know you're busy. It's been a big year for you. Things are a little bit different. How much pressure has there been in the North Pole? Oh, the pressure's been great. Everyone's handling it okay? Everyone's handling it fine. There's no corona. There's no corona in the North Pole. No corona. No corona. Too cold. Right. What about Corollas? Is there any Corollas? Oh, sorry, the virus you were talking about. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, no V-dubs? No V-dubs. <laughs> okay. Anybody under 30 probably wouldn't even get that, but that's okay. We're not going to keep you. Nice bell, by the way. Can you just give us a bell solo? Brilliant. Um, we can't let you go without maybe a special request and just to put you on your way. Do you have a favourite carol that you'd like the girls to sing? Only one. Only one? There is only one. What do you think? Maybe we should ask everybody in the audience what you think Santa's favourite carol is. On the count of three, I want you to yell out what you think it would be. One, two, three. Well, hang on. That sounded like everyone was saying the same thing. Can we try that again? One, two, three. Are they right? Hold on. There it is. Jingle Bells. Get ready to have a little bit of a sing-along as Santa and the girls lead you in Jingle Bells. open sleigh Oh, the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh
Santa bye, Santa. And thank you so much to Sophia, Tiara, Courtney, and Cadence as well. Put your hands together. Well, I made a little hint earlier that we're going to be doing a song tonight that goes back, the origins in the Latin, back to 800 AD. 800 years after Jesus was born and 1,200 years ago for us. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, as Sarah Driver leads us in O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Thank you so much, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. The band here and the singers as well for Carols in the City doing a marvellous job tonight. They can go off and have a drink because what you meant, I mentioned earlier how I used to live here many, many years ago and then just at the end of grade 12 uh, decided to go on tour with this band. Now, I didn't realise at the time touring Australia that there was also this girl that would join the same band from Tasmania and 28 or nine years later, 
my wife. I still get to play music with her. So please welcome out my wife, Vanessa Bishop. <laughs> talking about these songs and how they've got a little bit of age about them. This song goes back into the 1700s where a priest wanted to write some sort of song so that he could teach his Sunday school class the overall Christmas story. And this is our little town of Bethlehem. in time because I know Brendan's a great drummer but Brendan you've been playing for years if the crowd doesn't clap in time it's just going to ruin everything isn't it so should we just try them out first all right here we go ready and one two one two three four oh yeah you're doing all right Bundaberg this is good this is a great song about how great the story is and getting that story out to the world. It's called Go Tell It on the Mountain. Go tell it on the mountain Over at the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Let's sing it again. Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain Jesus Christ 
Christ is born. Tell a story. While shepherds kept their watching, all silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, the shone a holy light. Oh, tell me about the mountains, over the hills. Christ is born. Shepherds fear and tremble when to above the earth. Bring out the angel chorus that hail the Savior's birth. took it up a tone, maybe these guys would be able to sing from the bottom of their bellies just a little bit. And maybe to help you out, do you reckon we should bring out the Carols in the City singers? Yes, put your hands together as they come out and join us again. But we want to hear you tonight, Bundaberg. Remember, please don't spit on the back of the neck of the person in front of you. Here it comes, let's go with that verse. Gonna take it up a tone. One, two, three. amazing singers as well. Have you got your breath back? I'm going to just, just give you a couple of seconds just to take a little bit of a breathe. You know, there's something really, really special about the scene of Christmas. So much of it is depicted at night. There's the night when the shepherds are sitting around and they get the word up from the angel. You get the idea that it's at night when Mary and Joseph are looking trying to find somewhere to stay so they can give birth to this child so much stuff happens at night and so now 
we have two beautiful carols around the theme of the nights of Christmas. Please welcome Miss Tony Jordan.
Ladies and gentlemen, Bridget O'Shaughnessy. Absolutely beautiful, dear. Congratulations. That was, it's a gutsy thing to pick that song at Eddie Carroll's, and you absolutely nailed it. Welcome to Bundaberg. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's so good. She just sort of slid out here in the middle of the songs, but great that you've done a carol for us because you've written your own. We're going to talk about that here in a second, but so good to have you here. A little bit of a conversation happens with... Ainsley, our music director, and hey presto, we get to have this amazing emerging talent, particularly of the country music scene, come and reveal this song for the first time. Thank you so much, and thanks for coming to Bundy. Thanks so much for having me. I'm very, very excited to be performing this song for you. It's called Christmas Night. Excellent. Well, here you go. Once you hear this, it's going to be stuck in your head, and you can get this on iTunes and Spotify, as well as a heap of other songs, too, that this lovely girl has recorded. Get ready. This is her own song, a special Christmas song, launched this weekend at Carols in the City. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard O'Shaughnessy. Decorations appear like magic overnight And all the stores so beautiful and bright The phony streets were cold and white Takes me back to the late nights Looking at the lights Trying to stay awake while searching through the sky No one said is on his way tonight Quarter past three, you taste like nightmare and cinnamon bread. 
Fantastic. Do you think we should get her back next year? But <laughs> that would be so good. We would just want to say it's just been absolutely a delight to have you here. And you've been so fun to work with. And she's just such, as you can tell, just a real bright spark. And we just love it. And we'd like to just offer some flowers and say thank you so much for, for coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bridget O'Shaughnessy, who I think we're unofficially adopting in Bundaberg, despite the fact that she's from Brisbane. And a big thank you to her family as well. I know her sister's come up with her as well. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And make sure you jump on Spotify. Look for Bridget O'Shaughnessy on there, as well as uh, jumping on iTunes and everything as well. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Brisbane, Bridget O'Shaughnessy. We have a little bit of uh, tension in our house when it comes to Christmas. And I don't know who else will join me in this, but my wife and daughter just want to put the decorations up in like August. I don't know what's going on. And I, you know what? Usually I'm just like, oh, can you hold it off till December, please? But because this year has been this year, I was like, okay, I agreed to somewhere like mid-November, our Christmas tree went up. Who else has got everything up? Who had, who, just give me some light here to just show me Bundaberg. Who, who had like, who had Christmas trees up in November? Oh gosh, you're, that's why you're here tonight, because you're like legit Christmas enthusiasts, right? I, I, that, that makes total sense. Who held off until December? Okay, very disciplined, very well done. Well, the Christmas tree has become central, of course, to the whole Christmas story for various reasons. Tonight, we're going to rock around the Christmas tree. Fantastic job. These guys have been working so, so hard. And as you can understand, 
uh, with all of the uncertainty of this year, they start rehearsals and preparations for the carols way, way back towards the centre of the year. Of course, as soon as tonight finishes, they will start having conversations about how it's going to happen next year. And of course, who knows what's going to happen in 2021. But these guys pushed on. So in earnest, 10 weeks ago, they started rehearsals. And of course, we've heard already how Anton's come down from Mackay and people have traveled a long way. So I want to do a couple of thank yous before we finish up tonight. We've got two more songs remaining, but we just want to say a massive thank you to this incredible band. Please put your hands together. And Julie, Joel, Brendan, Toby, and Ainsley as well, and these wonderful singers as well, Anton, Tony, Matt, Sarah, and Charlie as well. That is your Carols in the City Band. Also want to say a massive thank you to all of our production crew who've been along on the journey as well. So many people that you wouldn't see running around and, and all the guys up on sound doing a great job on sound and lights and the cameras as well. And uh, we're just so, so thankful. We'd also like to thank uh, PRD Bundaberg for supplying the shirt for Ainsley tonight. Uh, it looks, can you just open your jacket up just a little bit there so everybody can see just how festive that is. <laughs> nice work. I wasn't going to blame any local fashion outlet on that shirt. I'll tell you right now. Gosh, they'd lose all living. No, they wouldn't. It's, it's a wonderful shirt. You've done very, very well. And all I can say is... I'm thankful that your wife knows how to dress. <laughs> no, terrible. Terrible. We want to say a massive, a massive thank you to the Bundaberg uh, Regional Council for being so cooperative and obviously playing with all of the changes and going, hey, we need to keep this tradition going. And speaking of traditions, I want to say a very big shout out to Bevan and Lorna Cordes who've been on the Carol's journey in Bundaberg for I think over 25 years. So please, a personal favour, would you please thank Bevan and Lorna as well. The Moncrief Theatre and staff have been fantastic. We want to say thank you to them. Also to 4BU, uh, Hits FM, and Kicks Country for their help with promotion as well. Uh, Elvery's Electrical have been fantastic. Media One, uh, Aloysius, uh, the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor for coming tonight. Thank you so much. And of course the Carol's Big, big Band, Corporate AV, LA Dance, and the dance trip that we're about to see for our second last song of the night, the Bundaberg Dance Academy. So would you please thank all of these amazing volunteers who've been a part of this, and as well as Bridget O'Shaughnessy as well, and her family for making the trip up. So we come to our last big number of the night, and it's in very, very safe hands with a very talented young man who works at Impact during the day, loves singing in bands, and particularly in the Country Music Club, Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get a treat as we go with Oh Come All Ye Faithful. We'd love you to sing along, led by the magnificent Matt Munro, also with the Bundaberg Dance Academy. Oh come, let us adore him. Oh come, let us adore him. Oh come, let us adore him.
Blues Academy. And please, one more time, thank the Carols in the City Big Band as well. Well, Bundaberg, that draws to a close. Carols in the City, a little bit different this year, but I'm sure the, you will agree these guys have adapted brilliantly. We have one last wish for you, and that is we wish you a Merry Christmas and good night. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, and we look forward to seeing you in 2021. Good night.